What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Plastic Underground. This week I have a special build for you guys. It's special to me because it's from one of my favorite games of all time. It's from Fallout. This is the laser pistol from Fallout 4. It's the standard laser pistol except for the barrel on the front. I added the uh, beam focuser adapter. I didn't want to just do the square um, barrel in the front so I added this beam focuser and I think it's pretty cool. This is all EVA foam. Uh, there's some HD foam in it. I recently bought HD foam. I've been using it and I can't say enough good things about it. It's amazing. And uh, even this microfusion cartridge comes out and uh, I have patterns for you guys as usual I will put them in the description and let's get to it and I will show you how I made my laser pistol from Fallout 4 okay so to start this build off we're going to start with the base and body of the gun so this is the rectangle box here this is the base of the the gun and then there is the front and the back sections of the gun and those are um, basically just square boxes so here's the rectangle box and here are the square boxes the front is bigger and the back is a little smaller so now that those are all glued together what I do is I cut these sections out. You can see on the blueprint there that the the front section kind of overlaps into the body. So I cut the front section out first, then I mark it on the body just to make sure that uh, that it lines up. Sometimes if you go just off the blueprint it can be off by a little bit. You have to account for uh, human error in, in cutting foam out with a knife. So I saw that they fit pretty good. So the next thing I want to do before I glue these together is to bevel the corners uh, of all these boxes. All these boxes are rounded. It's Fallout, so it's 1950s sci-fi, so <clears throat> nothing is square. It's all round, which is a pretty cool aesthetic. So those are all rounded, I glued those all together. Now I start to cut out the uh, section where the microfusion um, ammo cartridge is gonna go. Uh, I just slowly cut that out. It gets a little bit more detail later on, but uh, just cut the, the square out to size. So this piece here is for the back. There is this uh, little bevel square that goes on this big square. And then that gets put into the back of the, the gun there. Also on the back is this little round uh, half round detail that goes up in the corner so I just glued two pieces of 10 millimeter foam together and uh, I just give it a quick buzz with the Dremel just to round off the edges and just smoothing it out a little bit and that goes right up there in the corner Now this is a piece of uh, six millimeter um, HD foam. This is going to be the, I guess, edge bevel or edge detail for the um, the ammo chamber, the ammo chamber. The other thing I need to do is figure out this um, this back circle. 
on the top of the the back of the gun there is this um it's supposed to stick out a little higher so that the microfusion cell holds into that section the um microfusion doesn't just sit in the uh hole of the gun it kind of it kind of pinches between the two points like a battery so this little detail that I'm cutting out here just test fitting will add that uh, high bevel detail there so then I go ahead and I glue this uh, six millimeter foam on if I can do it on camera I put that around and measured it first and then cut it just so I, I cut it to fit this is the I believe, yeah bottom bottom detail. This is one of the the only differences between the laser pistol and the laser rifle is this front detail here. The front square of the gun too, it, it, the way that it sits recessed in there like that is is different. But also there's this uh, top and bottom detail on the pistol. So here's the top part. So now going back to that uh, detail piece on the back, that circular detail piece, I glued two pieces of 10 millimeter foam together. And now I'm just using my Dremel, I'm just shaping it. I'm trying to go from a high spot to a low spot to give it a, a pretty um, slope, like bevel it down to nothing. You'll see here <clears throat> what I'm talking about when I get it glued on. This is one of those things that's uh, kind of tricky to glue on because it's a curve, so you're trying to line it up without the other side touching and then you just try to pull it open and then stick it on. You can see there how there's a high spot and then there it goes down to that low spot. So now the inside of these are going to be seen a little bit, just these corners. So what I do is I just put two little pieces of foam squares in there, the back side and the front side, just to cap it off on the inside. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to put the piece of 2 millimeter foam on it anyway, but you still will see those two little corner gaps if you don't put something in there. So these are uh, some fins. The back of the gun has a bunch of these little fins. Um, there's a few different sizes. So there are four of these sizes for this bottom part here. And then there are f four taller fins for the back because it's, it's deeper. So now here's a detail piece here. I just cut out these rectangles. And then I use my Dremel to um, put a curve in there. And these are the top, um, it's like the, the top rails. I already have these kind of marked where they need to go in the center line of the top. So now this little piece here fills out the back. There's another set of rails that will be attached to that later, so that's why that needed to be a little higher there. 
this is like the little door um, the reloading arm door that's just some two millimeter uh, HD foam and then here I I glue on this part here for the um, the microfusion chamber So I cut this long on purpose so that I could I could trim it. I figured it'd be a lot easier than trying to um, pinch and pull this into shape. So I glued it on a little long. I just go through. I just cut the uh, extra off. And then I give it a quick little sand with the Dremel just to make sure it's it's smooth. Now these are just some um, little details for the top of the gun. You, you can see that I've shown you I kind of beveled them round instead of keeping them square. The, the laser rifle has these detail pieces too. So I just glue those on. And then uh, this little circle piece I cut out sanded in a little bit of like bevels on the side to make it look interesting and I use my Dremel there and I add this detail cut on the back I tried to do it on the top of the, the vent too I didn't really like the way it was looking so I didn't continue there's a little piece of foam tube that I had I cut that out I put that on the back. So now this gets a little detail piece. This is just some two millimeter foam cut out really thin. And I just glue and tack this into place as I go. Really trying to make sure that I get it right on the edge so I don't have to sand anything or. And um, the bottom really doesn't matter because the handle, the the handle is going to go there. So I wasn't super worried. So now here's the beginning of the microfusion cell itself. This is just some uh, rectangle cut out and then glued together. And I put it on top of this foam so I can trace out the shape I need to cap the bottom so there's the cap for the bottom and then I do the same thing with the top but I cut it a little bit bigger so that there's a little bit of uh, edge and then I work on the handle at the same time so I cut out four pieces of uh, floor mat foam so 10 millimeter foam and I glue those all together and let them sit. Same thing with the bottom detail. I cut out four of those, but it's supposed to be thicker than the handle. So I add a sheet of uh, five millimeter to those after they dry. The side of those get this little round bevel detail. And the same thing, I'm back to the the microfusion, just adding these little squares to the top. There's a little five millimeter circle of foam on top, and then that uh, has a little bevel off of it. Everything gets beveled. <clears throat> Again, nothing is square. And I'm just adding a little bit of detail to the top to. Uh, make it look like a, it's supposed to kind of look like a battery cell so I sand a little uh, hole in there and I'm just adding a little piece of uh, foam cut off that I had so then I realized that this piece here also has to have a little bevel on it 
So I just cut out another piece of six millimeter foam, beveled the edges, and then now I'm cutting out the channel for where the lock goes. This is like the uh, microfusion lock. It sits in there. Now for the handle, I glue on this little strip first, and then I bend the handle like that. Then I continue to glue it just so it uh, glues in that uh, 90 degree curve. Now I'm taking some um, rectangles of foam, four pieces, and I'm sanding these down. This will be the handle grip in the front. And there's a piece of two millimeter foam detail on the front. And it also gets this little beveled um, circle detail on the front too. So I glue that in there. Sizing up the strappings that go around the grip. And again, nothing is square. So I'm just rounding these out to look like little popsicle sticks. And just gluing those on and wrapping them around and gluing to the other side. It's funny how even on the pistol it gets these this like front grip. This is supposed to be like the rifle this is supposed to be like where you put your hand on the laser rifle for the front grip. So it's just funny that that detail kind of made its way over to the pistol too. So cut this out of the front. So that's where your grip goes. Um, and now to fill in that, um, I'm cutting some foam out, just like we did with the chamber. Now here are the top rail pieces. And these are some two millimeter what the foam, just because I wanted them to be a little bit more rigid. Uh, so I just glue those on. Those get uh, sent to the corner and they touch the side of those rails that we did before. So now going on to the grip and the trigger part. And again, this is some what the what the foam glued together in these shapes. And to get these thicker details, I cut out some floor mat foam. Now I go through and I add these bevel lines. And uh, I always try to cut bevel lines out with my knife first so that I'm not sanding all of that material, turning all that material into dust. So the only other thing I, um, I lost the footage for that, but I, I just did some shaping with my Dremel on the handle did the bevels and I added the uh, grip part just a lot of sanding you can see that uh, five millimeter piece of foam I added and uh, so now here's the the trigger part this gets glued to the back of the uh, the front grip and then I glue it to the top of the barrel and then to the back of the uh, grip I know this little trigger, I kind of tried to cut it to fit that shape. I just stick it in there. I uh, glue on the, <clears throat> the lock and the lever for the microfusion. The only thing I forgot was this little piece back here. I'm not 100% sure what that does. And then on the bottom of the pistol are these little um, bevel pieces. I think they're, they're supposed to act like a support like a support rod to hold everything into place. So I just cut these little squares out and bevel them and then, and then glue them on. So 
So now I've got some old computer cable. And I uh, made these little foam wrappings. I just wrapped some foam around the cable. On the end, and there's a couple other spots. So then I just go through and I just glue this uh, just glue this cable right to the body of the pistol. I try to add glue at all the stress points, all the curves and stuff. So then I sand down the front of that. I don't think I showed me making the front piece there. Um, that was just some 10 millimeter foam that I just um, basically sanded and carved with the Dremel into that circular shape, glued it on. So now that the cord is glued on, I take these little chunks of what the foam, I glue it to the body of the barrel first, and then I will glue it and push it down around the wire so it acts like wire, wire clips. So now it looks like those are what's keeping that wire in place instead of glue. So because I'm adding a different barrel to the front, I can cap this off. Normally that would be recessed and more fins. But I decided to do something a little different. So now I'm making another little box. This part took me a while to figure out. It's um, it's got it's an interesting shape. I mean, it's basically just a square and a rectangle beveled. But the way that they fit together with these other ridges is uh, it took me a little bit to figure out. So that's the actual barrel piece where the laser comes out. It's a little rectangle. It's all beveled. Then it's got the the middle part is where the laser comes out. And these little pieces in the back here I think are just detail pieces. So it's also got this groove on the side. So I marked that and used my rotary tool to uh, bevel that out. Uh, same thing with that. So now that can get glued on the longer barrel part. Same thing with that, that's all beveled. So that gets glued to the body. Then I'm trying to figure out these triangle pieces here. So basically what I ended up doing is putting like a piece, a thin piece in the corner with a bevel to match the corner and the side. And then I put another bevel piece on the side of that. I know it's kind of hard to explain, but it's a, it was a weird piece. Then I just add a little bit more detail. I added the like square, um, like bullet shape thing in the back and the little circles on the front. Again, everything is just kind of cut out and shaped. So I give it a good green paint base and a tan paint. Then I go through with my yellow. So I do the cable and I do the, um, I can't think, the uh, arrows, the like warning arrows and the microfusion at the same time. I do all the yellow. Then I go through and I do all the black. Then I go with a pencil here and I mark out where everything is. These words aren't perfect. I didn't really take my time to paint the, the wording, like the actual lettering, but it is close enough to where it, it kind of sells it. So then there's the plus and minus. I spray painted the whole thing silver first and then used acrylic on top. So what I did for weathering here is um, 
just stuck some tape, masking tape down on the acrylic paint, pulled it off and it, it uh, pulls the paint away from the spray paint underneath. And then I go through with a brown wash and I just, I just wash it on everything. I wash it on and I wipe it down. Then after that dries, I go back through with a with a black. And I really try to focus on getting some some black and some brown in the recesses. I took a little piece of sandpaper there and sanded off some of the letters just so it didn't look brand new. Then I weathered it. Added some silver chipping. Last thing I did is I painted the um, the radioactive uh, tip for the um, the site, and that is it. That is how I made this laser pistol from Fallout 4. Hope you guys like it, and uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I would like to do some more Fallout stuff. It's one of my favorite uh, games. I just have not made uh, a lot of stuff from that lately so uh, let me know and I will see you guys next time